Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. This is Travels with Phil. We're going to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, where Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first powered flight December 17th, 1903. These are the two brothers you just see there. And this is what it looked like back then. Uh, a lot of grass, a lot of sand out here. Not quite what you expect or, or what it is now. It originally started off, they came out with gliders. And they would fly them like kites. They would uh, sometimes ride in them to uh, obviously build up their knowledge and ability on how to possibly get this thing to turn, to fly, to stay stable. These are some of the uh, sheds they built out there. They camped out there on the uh, dunes. This was all, as you can tell, very undeveloped territory. In fact, the uh, buildings they put up are very, uh, well, shall we say, less than uh, long-lasting, although a couple of them are still out there. All right, you can see them on one of the uh, flights here. Where the, This is one of the powered flyers, and this is, I believe, the 1903 uh, airplane. And you can see it here, the dual propellers on either side. They went in opposite directions to keep it from uh, torquing too much. This is the very first flight right here. This was taken uh, by a gentleman uh, as uh, one of the brothers looks on. Orville took the first flight, Wilbur took the second. They alternated for the first floor. This is the third flight, just about to touch the ground as it's going off into the distance. And this is the fourth and final flight that they took that day, really much further. Now, they did some damage when they landed, and that's why they only did the uh, four flights that day, because uh, the front part of the aircraft uh, had been banged up on the uh, landing. All right, well, that's Orville, Orville I should say, uh, on the uh, commemoration about uh, 30, 40 years later. Now, this is all at uh, Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil Hill. This is the memorial itself. They have a very nice uh, museum. They also have a few uh, wasps outside or whatever kind of critter that is. Now, that's the big monument up on the top of the hill, and it all took place December 17, 1903. There were four flights that day. Now, this is on one of the outer uh, islands, the Outer Banks, and uh, they have all kinds of little uh, things inside the museum that tells you about this particular stuff. But the Orville and Wilbur Wright, the Wright brothers, were bicycle guys. They made bicycles, fixed bicycles, and these are some of the tools they had. This is a part of the actual engine from the original uh, 1903 flyer. This is uh, Orville's uh, book and tools. And again, part of that engine piece there. This is uh, believed to be one of the original propellers from the first aircraft. And again, they made four flights. You can see those four pictures up there showing you the various stages of where they uh, took off and landed. Now, inside they have both a copy of the uh, model of the glider and a model of the powered craft. Uh, the powered craft was bigger. You can see some of the dimensions here on this particular thing here. They have very good ranger programs inside as well. And uh, they, you know, they'll give you all kinds of information, tell you stories of the time, the era, the uh, brothers themselves, the people that helped out, what it was like to be in uh, Kill Devil Hill area of Kitty Hawk. And one of the reasons they came out here, there were a lot of open spaces, uh, that, but there was uh, fairly consistent breezes. And if you're trying to get some uh, airlift from the air, it helps if you have a breeze. Although one of the flights, uh, they actually had a problem that they got a real strong gust and it almost made them come down uh, earlier than they would have. Now outside, this is uh, one of my videos out here. It does shake a bit and I like the fact that there are geese out here. So you have flying animals uh, in the spot where flight took place. Now that boulder you saw on the left, that's where they took off. And then each one of these stones out here, this is where the first three uh, of them landed. So they were relatively close together. And then the uh, final one is way off on the right hand side. And as a matter of fact, a distance of about 650 feet further on number four than they did on the uh, furthest one of the first three. Those first three are right there together. And again, that's the, the big Kill Devil Hill and they have a big monument up there uh, just to the uh, Wright brothers themselves. And then way out there on the far right hand side, there you go, underneath the water tower. That's where the uh, fourth one finally landed on the last flight of the day, which was by Wilbur. And uh, again, this is a part of the video I took out there. There was It was just blowing, gusty where I was, so it just makes the audio uh, pretty well unusable in this particular time. All right, so going back out and looking around. Uh, now, the hill itself, they did not take off from the hill for these first flights. I thought they actually did, but no, they did not. But they just used the highest point out there to mark them. All right, so looking at the uh, various spots, uh, again, some of the, <laughs> the geese out here, I like they just wander around a bit. And uh, you can see here that they did build several sheds so they could put their stuff out here. They, t they camped out here. They just basically came out here and lived uh, during the periods of times when they were out there. Now, this is one of the original ones. Some of the original stuff, they have it uh, glassed off, pexiglass, whatever, uh, so that uh, people can't get inside and uh, mess with it. 
And again, uh, Orville came out to a couple of the uh, commemorations. Uh, Wilbur uh, died younger, uh, sooner than Orville did. And gives you, you saw the, the yellow line here shows you where how far they went on each one of the trips. And those are the first three landing spots. Uh, the boulder that you'll see over here eventually coming up is where they took off. Now, they did have a track out there. Uh, because it was on mostly uh, a sand dune, they did have a track. And you can see it at the bottom of this picture, the picture there that uh, they uh, slid along the top of the track to make it easier for them to uh, move along. And this is where they took off from the boulder itself, or right in the immediate vicinity of where the uh, boulder is at. And then the first one, 12 seconds long, they made 120 feet. Orville made it. So as far as most historians agree, Orville Wright was the first person to do powered flight. And you can look back toward uh, the boulder there. The second one was Wilbur. They uh, flipped the coin to see who got to go first. Also 12 seconds, but a little bit further, 175, a little bit uh, 55 feet further than the uh, first flight. And again, the boulder in the distance. The third one, Orville's chance again. He flew a few seconds longer, but he went about 200 feet, uh, 80 feet longer than he did on his first try. And, uh, you know, as, and again, most of this was uh, dunes. There was some grasses out here, but uh, these little things, those will stick on you, so you got to be careful where you walk. It's pretty, but uh, they, they all poke you out there, so be careful where you're going. And I was, I was standing out here. I noticed there was a he helicopter coming toward us, and it kept getting closer and kept getting closer and kept getting closer and flew right back. <laughs> Making a pass over the road, over the area here. Oh, check it out, man. All right, so I don't know if that was an homage to the Wright brothers or just where the flight path goes. Now, here's where the fourth one ended. Almost a full minute, uh, pretty much about 45 seconds longer than the others. And it went 852 feet, which was 650 feet longer than the furthest one out there. So that was a really significant flight, and that was Wilbur at the very end. So you can uh, walk out here, take the path, do a little strolling on your own, see how far it was. Doesn't seem very uh, far by uh, modern day standards, of course, but this was all new technology. Lots of different people were trying to do this, or people all over the world that were trying to uh, figure out how to do a powered flight. Uh, various concoctions, multiple uh, uh, wings. Uh, there was some had as many as six or seven wings on them. Some of them were, looked like bat suits. Uh, they tried all kinds of stuff. And these uh, guys were just basically very, uh, uh, just trial and error, trial and error. Now it turns out there is a little small runway, runway right next to uh, where the, the uh, flights took place. In fact, they call it uh, first flight uh, runway. And this is uh, some of the monuments up on the top of the hill. Very nice view from up here. Very impressive uh, monument itself. And, uh, you know, sort of a wing kind of look. Oh, hey, how'd this guy get in here? Alrighty, but uh, it's it's a nice little walk up there, and if there's a breeze, it uh, actually feels pretty good. Let's go back to one of my videos. Right there where the road starts to turn slightly to the right, you can see the three little monuments where there's a clump of people. That's the first three flights, and then way off, just as you get to the green, is where the fourth flight landed. That's the visitor center. This is Kill Devil Hill community. We're up on big Kill Devil Hill itself, and that is the Atlantic Ocean out there. This is where the first flight took place. At least the first powered flight in America. There's a contention from some folks in Australia that they may have gone up a couple years earlier. But uh, nice wind up here, which is obviously why they came up here. Pretty good ingenuity on their part. And there you go, that's part of the uh, little airport that's over there. So I think it's sort of cool that you can uh, land your plane right next to where they first took off. And this is the little uh, airport guy out here checking things out. And again, I was sort of surprised. I didn't realize there was a small airport right next to it, but it seems uh, totally appropriate. And so uh, this has been pretty much a look around. Uh, it's a pretty cool spot if you're interested in flight. Now this is an actual uh, sculpture out here that shows you pretty much the size of the aircraft people about helping about there were just people you know a few folks were helping out there's a coast guard station that was nearby a few of them came by to watch what was going on but it wasn't really a big crowd because this kind of stuff had been going you know people have been attempting they've been out here doing stuff for a long time so it wasn't like it was a big big deal for the locals and so oh, well those folks are out there again and next k Hatteras.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, just click on the button over on the right hand side. Thank you very much.